What's up shooters, it's Coach Sam, your shot doctor here. In this video, I'm going over three of the biggest shooting mistakes that I constantly see with shooters. Three reasons why your shot might be broke, and the third reason might be the most surprising of all of them. So make sure you stay till the very end, stay locked in, and we'll get right into it. So the first mistake that we're gonna talk about has to do with our shooting elbow. When you guys are younger, a lot of times you're going to be shooting from your chest and your elbows are really stuck out. As you get older, a lot of coaches will start talking to you and teaching you about having that elbow in. The mistake that many shooters have is that they have their elbow too far in. I see a lot of shooters and their elbow is directly in line with their chest and this is going to create a lot of tension in your shoulder and it's gonna become a very hard to repeat shot. If your shoulder's too far in, it's also gonna create side spin and you're gonna be pushing from your pointer finger and your thumb instead of coming from your middle fingers. In order to correct this problem, I'm gonna give you the solution. Here's how to fix an uncomfortable elbow alignment. Use a phrase that I've created called the lazy arm swing to find the perfect placement for your elbow. In order to do this, what we're gonna do is walk and swing our arms. So I'm walking, I'm walking, and then I'm gonna bring up my shooting elbow and hand. Boom, I bring it up. You can see it's not directly in front of my face. This is the most comfortable and most natural position for my shooting arm and elbow to be in. It's slightly off to the side, and this is gonna be a very efficient way to shoot the ball, a very effective way. We are now able to shoot it with our pointer finger and middle finger going at the basket instead of our thumb. Now on to the second biggest mistake and second reason why your shot might be broke that we're gonna talk about. And that's going to be a catapult motion with your shot. I see a lot of shooters bring it here and then bring it behind their head and they end up having this catapult motion. We do not wanna have a catapult in our shot because then we are using our shoulder to essentially throw the ball at the rim. When this happens, we do not have the correct arc on our shot, and we're not gonna be a very good shooter if you're constantly having to bring it behind our head. Let me show you how to fix this problem. What you wanna do is think about going at the rim, not up behind your head. Once you bring that ball up and you start going at the rim, you don't wanna go past about your forehead as far as where the ball goes. Once it starts getting behind, you're now getting into that catapult motion that we don't want. So instead, be locked and loaded, bend your legs, and as you extend, you're thinking about going out at the rim, not up anymore. That will really help to eliminate the catapult motion. It'll give you better arc on your shot, and it'll make you a better shooter. Just real quick before we move on to number three, if you haven't already, be sure to like and subscribe. I'm bringing out new shooting videos every single week and I'll help you to become a better shooter. All right, the third reason why you might have a broken shot is going to be due to your follow through. Many coaches teach jumping straight up and landing straight down in the same spot. The problem is this is not the best way to shoot. Instead, what you wanna do is think about slightly falling forward as you shoot. 
If you watch the best shooters, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, they all will shoot, let's say, behind the three-point line, and then they will land forward. Here's how you can fix that issue. If you're jumping straight up and landing in the same spot, what I want you to do is think about falling forward and shooting it at the rim, as I mentioned in step number two. If you're landing in the same spot, often you're gonna be shooting it and you're gonna be shooting it up. Instead, shoot it at the rim. This is going to allow us to fall forward and land over our target line that we shot it from initially. This will give you better arc on your shot and create better consistency throughout your shooting. I want you to really evaluate yourself, film yourself, and see if you're making any of these three critical mistakes. That is a good chance that you might have a broken shot if you're doing any of these three problems that I consistently see with players and their shooting ability. If you've learned anything up to this point, please be sure to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember, shooters always shoot, and I'll see you on the next video.